Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today I'll teach you about the traveling salesman's problem. So here you can see this is a salesman who needs to travel from all the cities and he needs to come back to the same city so that none of the city is repeated again, right? So for example, if he wants to go from Delhi and he wants to cover the rest of the cities, so the only challenge is that he should not cover the all the cities again, right? So there should be no repetition in the cities and he should come back to Delhi. So let us see what's the problem all about. So you are given a set of cities and the distance between every pair of cities is given to us. So we need to find out the problem to find the shortest possible route that visits every city exactly once and returns to the start. Right. So now what does the algorithm say? The algorithm says consider city 1 as the starting and the ending point. So whichever city we need to start from, we mark that city as number 1 vertex and we have to start and we need to come back, terminate at the same vertex. Now the next step is generate all the n minus 1 permutations of those cities. Calculate the cost of every permutation and keep a track of the minimum cost permutation. So return the permutation which has the minimum cost. Right? So it's a very simple algorithm. So let us understand the steps of the algorithm in the following example. So we are given a problem. Actually this is the problem and the matrix is given to us. So this is the cost matrix. So you can see that between vertex 1 and vertex 1, there is no cost, that means there is no distance. Between vertex 1 and vertex 2, the distance is 10. Between vertex 1 and vertex 3, the distance is 15. Between 1 and 4, the distance is 20. And like so, if we put the distances on these vertices, so this is how what we get the graph. Right? So now here, we need to mark the first vertex, we need to start from city 1. So we have to make a route from city 1. It starts from city 1 and that also ends at city 1. So let's start from city 1. So what are all the permutations? We can go from 1 to 2. And then from 2, I have two possibilities. I can We can go to 3 or we can go to 4. So first is from 1 to 2. And then from 2 we can go to 4 or we can go to 3, right? If we go to 4, then I cannot go to 1 because 3 is untraveled. So I need to come back to 3 again. And then from 3 I have the root as 1. And if I am going from 1 to 2 and then from 2 to 3, I cannot go directly to 1. So I have to revisit 4 and then I have to go to 1. This is one of the paths, right? The next path can be, I can go from 1 to 3. And then I can either go to 4 or I can go to 2. So either I can go to 4 or I can go to 2, right? So if I am going from 1 to 3 and then from 3 to 4, then I need to go to 2 and then I need to go to 1. The other parts, and if I'm going from 1 to 3, then 3 to 2, then I need to go to 4, and then I need to go to 1. Right? And suppose if I'm going from 1 to 4, then 4 to 2, 2 to 3, and then I can go to 1. This is also one path 1 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 1. And we can also have another path, 1 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 2, and 2 to 1, right? So after we have written all the possible paths, all the permutations from 1 to 1, let us count their distances. 1 to 2 is 10, 2 to 4 is 25, 4 to 3 is 30, 3 to 1 is 15. So that turns out to be 30 plus 10, 40. 40 plus 25, 65. 65 plus 15, it is 8. 
Now let's see what is the cost of traveling from 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and then from 3 to 4 and 4 to 1. So 1 to 2 becomes 10. 2 to 3 is 35. 3 to 4 is 30. 4 to 1 is 20. So 30, 50, 60, 95. Right? Now let's find out the distance for the third path. 1 to 3 is 15. 3 to 4 is 30. 4 to 2 is 25. 2 to 1 is 10. So 25 plus 15 is 40. 40 plus 30 is 70. 70 plus 10 is 8. Next, 1 to 3. 1 to 3 is 15. 3 to 2. 3 to 2 is 35. 2 to 4 is 25. 4 to 1 is 20. So this comes out to be 35 plus 15. 50 plus 20 is 70. 70 plus 25 is 95. Right? Let's come to the next path. 1 to 4 is 20. 4 to 2 is 25. 2 to 3 is 35. 3 to 1 is 15. So this comes out to be 35 plus 15 is 40. 40 plus 25 is 65. 65 plus 20 is 80. And the last part. 1 to 4 is 20. 4 to 3 is 30. 3 to 2 is 35. And 2 to 1 is 10. So 30 plus 20 is 50. 50 plus 10 is 60. And 35 is 95. Right? So where do you find that minimum distance has been traveled either from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 1 or from 1 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 2, 1, 2, 2. Right? So, we will find that either this is the route, right? So, we will find the to all the permutations. And we will find that the root is, the best suited root is 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 3 and 3 to 1. Right? The one which has cost 8, the minimum cost. Right? So this is how you will apply the traveling salesman's problem. We will find all the permutations from the first city to the last, to that city. And out of all those permutations, whichever gives you the minimum cost, that becomes your answer. Right? So now, so we will get these two parts and you can try this exercise. So here, you can see that a problem is given to us and the distances are marked in this table. So you have to find out the least cost to starting at A and also returning at A. Right? So again, by the same method, you can find out all the permutations from the first city to the city A to city A. And from all those permutations, you can find out the minimum distance. So you can try this problem and do write to me in the comment section. So you will find that we will have all these tours and the distance between all these tours is given to us here. So out of this, the minimum one is this one, A, C, B, D, A, that is 15, and A, C, D, B, A, that is also 15. So these two becomes the root of the traveling C, right? That's it. Thank you so much for listening. So for all of those of you who haven't subscribed my channel yet, do subscribe my channel to get the latest update. 
and believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed thank you so much